A neighbor shows the inferno as fire it. spread through the townhouse on Simon's Court at Edgewood and Bobby Sue Hodge getting out just in time. Well, we were in the basement. We got woke up by one smoke alarm. Hours later, a dejected Hodge sat alone with her dog and a few items she had saved, grieving for the three people who did not make it out alive. They were all good people. They were all good people. They, I hope and pray to God, God took their souls to heaven to be with him. Two months. Welcome to another edition of Maryland's Missing and the Murdered. I am Kara Stone, and this week we have the case of the Edgewood arson. What you just watched was news footage from the fire and a brief interview with Bobby Sue Hodge. A victim of the fire? Or was she? On May 9, 2019, at 2.30 a.m., a fire broke out in a townhome on Simons Court in Edgewood, Maryland. The home was occupied by nine people. Eight of the nine people were home at the time of the fire. Harvard County deputies were advised that people were trapped and the fire department arrived within two minutes of the call. Escaping the fire was difficult for some as some of the tenants were disabled and others tried to save their pets. After the fire was extinguished, three people, Dion Hill, Ernest Lee, and Kimberly Shoup had died. Two others were hospitalized, three escaped the flames. Multiple agencies, including the ATF and the fire marshal, started to investigate. The fire marshal announced that the fire was deliberately set from the living room. They did not disclose what was used to set the fire due to pending charges. Immediately, investigators were put to work interviewing witnesses and victims of the fire. Investigators learned that one of the occupants, Bobby Sue Hodge, made multiple threats to other occupants that she was going to burn down the house. In addition, one of the residents who perished in the fire made a phone call stating that Hodge had just started a fire. The police then interviewed Hodge, who made inconsistent statements. The police did some digging into Miss Hodge's police record and found that she was in the process of being evicted from the home and was on probation for assaulting one of the residents. I reviewed court case records on Miss Hodge and indeed she was charged with assault in 2018. She also had a restraining order against her from 2016. Bobby Sue Hodge was arrested on July 1, 2019 and was denied bail by a judge who ruled that, quote, she was an incredible danger to the community. The newspaper articles from July 2019 had her charges listed differently than what is on the court docket as of today, October 16th, 2019. As of today, Bobby Sue Hodge has been charged with three counts of first degree murder, three counts of second degree murder, four counts of first degree assault, four counts of second degree assault, four counts of attempted second degree murder, one count of first degree arson, and one count of second degree arson. According to court case records, she is scheduled to go to trial on January 8, 2020. In the weeks following the fire, the fire marshal learned that the home was being used as a quote, illegal boarding home, end quote, and determined multiple code violations for lack of a fire alarm and a water sprinkler system. The management company was subsequently fined. The fire caused $300,000 in damages to the home and five other homes where the fire extended were also damaged. Thank you for joining me this week. If you would like to get in touch with me, please email me at marylandsmissing at gmail.com.